This is television for the Isles of Scilly, brought to you with worldwide financial planning, Truro and Penwith College, and the Scilly Lottery. From Radio Scilly, this is SillyTV.com. The New School, a um, brilliant project. Uh, I think everybody involved in that uh, you know, should walk with their heads held high. You know, right from the word go, uh, that project. It, it created a little bit of consternation locally, you know, when it was first being proposed. At the initial stages, The initial it? stages, yeah. I mean, because it was a big development. Uh, land use here is really under pressure. And where do you put a project of that size? And when you think now that uh, that project is looking you know from the roof point of view is is complete so it, it's where it's going to be uh, i think it fits in marvelously where the uh, where it's sighted and so. it doesn't impose too much it, like when you when you come down here of course at port mellon or whatever and you try and look across yeah a, around the area you yeah. don't see it it's not intrusive is it no it's not what I'm to say. i mean given the size of the build uh, even from the airport where it's most visible probably uh, you know it just blends in. I, I think a lot of credit needs to go to a lot of people for their involvement in that. But but also to Keir Western and the people that have been moving all the stuff around because if you think of logistics of actually getting all that in place, <laughs> all the tonnage coming over uh, you know, by sea and then the road transport to get it to the site and then transferring it from the storage site onto the actual build site once all the uh, all the excavation has been done uh, marvellous they have done work. Well. a marvellous teamwork right from the word go I mean you, you, you obviously had uh, chats with Brian Trithuey there the yeah. project manager mm. and I've met him a couple of times in the past and he seems to be very well organised in that yeah. respect they, they are extremely well organised and um, I th- you know we they were well chosen very well chosen but when you think of all the wet and the wind, you know, the uh, snow and that we had during the winter, which softens the ground up, and, and the muddy uh, areas where they store all the yeah. stuff, get it across the road, they keep that road immaculately clean between town and old town. So all the traffic up and down there, slight delays while they're having a bit of a brush up, but they've kept it all really pristine. Have and, they helped the community as well? I believe they've been putting earth in different places or something to well, they have. Places I, I mean, up. all the excavation that's taken place, uh, you know, they they filled a quarry with, with the earth that uh, was there and uh, drove past there today just to have a quite look. And, you know, there's a nice field created now where there was a big hole in the ground. <laughs> they, they used to dig ram out there to repair the roads and things now. That quarry is no longer there, but there's a nice field uh, been reinstated and, you know, with the big lorries shifting all that stuff around and that, uh, they just coped extremely well. I think people, too, locally have been quite courteous uh, you know, to the lorries and things when they've been moving around, giving way to them. And why shouldn't they? Uh, you know, they've got a job to do, but they, a job they're doing extremely well. And when you think of the investment in the islands, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, the amount of businesses locally that are scoring on that, the seems to come the additional freight revenue which is very very welcome and uh, lo- all the local businesses uh, accommodation providers everybody scores a bit I, I've got an old saying you know money's made round to go round and, and this is certainly one project it's that's doing the true. islands a huge amount of good but not only currently now uh, from the financial point of view but long term you're going to have a one site school which has never been the case in the islands before. But also from that, once that school is built, <coughs> we're moving forward again where this money goes around, yeah. okay, and you've got the old school. Yeah. And now that will obviously end up being demolished at some point. Yeah. And being replaced with, um, uh, what was it we were talking about earlier, Park House? B- Park House, Maybe yeah. a relocation of that, is yeah. that right? Yeah. But, but I mean, if we go back to Corn uh before we talk about Corn Thomas, the the, the current Gorbel site, we've got a one point almost a one point one million pound grant from Sport England to build a four sport 
sports hall down a four court sports hall down on that site of course close, close yeah. to the Corn Gorville site yep. now when that site is vacated by the present school and they move into the new school which hopefully is going to be at the start of the autumn term uh that site will be taken over and, and used again for educational purposes but for community use and uh, the sports hall will be run literally by the council and, and all, the, all the sports people all the clubs and things can actually migrate down there and, and use the hall. The school will have priority obviously for, the, for their curriculum and, and then any spare capacity weekends, evenings and all the rest of it, all the badminton and clubs or whoever they are can actually go down there and take part in there. We can, we can see some indoor five-a-side action going on. Well, we? quite possibly. <laughs> b- b- whatever imagination can come up. But yeah. a marvellous opportunity for local young people to get involved. And, and the old building of the school itself will become an educational learning centre really for, for all the silver haired surfers and anybody else who wants to go down and learn how to do computing work so that that element, education will still be part of it but it'll be really community based when the whole community can, can get involved and sign up to it so marvellous, marvellous opportunities and the other good news is you know, we, we're, we've got people coming over on uh, Thursday of this week I think it's either Thursday or Friday uh, from British Telecom to talk about fast broadband, super That's right, fast yes. broadband. Well, uh, again, you know, from the computing point of view, I think that has a marvellous potential for business to actually expand and create new businesses within the island communities. Well, so that, that's the thing with the island. You know, you do need to keep up with the technology. It has yeah. got to be there for uh, the ability for expansion. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that is what, what is required. And BT, like you say, are coming over. We yeah. will speak to them as well. Here yeah, Radio Silly. So you know that element down there, a whole new program is being worked out down there, and, and you know council officers and that have been really working hard at getting all that in place. So I'm confident that that is something really to look forward to over the coming weeks and months, and over the next two or three years, a huge development. But you did mention Corn Thomas Absolutely, and the yeah. old school here. When when that's vacated, uh, we we passed. Uh, provisional plans uh, at last Tuesday's council meeting uh, to you know, look at that uh, to become a replacement for Park House. Park House is oversubscribed now and uh, the elderly population is growing in the islands. We do need more accommodation. Where to site that is, is something, you've got to put the extra space somewhere. You, you, you need the extra space. So you've got an ugly building that <laughs> will be demolished at some stage and then replaced with something which is a lot more viable but a really practical usage for it. So, you know, I mean, perhaps when I reach that age, if it's done up nicely, <laughs> I, I might even find a little spot up there. But I had to declare an interest, I suppose, but, you know, <laughs> as a councillor. But great potential there. But this is in the early stages yet. But still a long way to go. Yeah, but but members have signed up to it, and uh, you know the provisional plans will be worked up, and some ideas will come along, and they'll change over the time. But uh, certainly, uh, you know, the potential is absolutely fantastic there.